Hello, everybody. This video is Cyberlink Power Director 15 or 16 for absolute beginners. Now, these pictures here that I'm showing you, even though I'm not a smooth talker, I am a good video maker, and I'm just kind of letting you know that. Just showing you some of the videos I make. I got four channels, and I make about three or four videos a week, and most of the time, they heavy-duty videos. And this is some of the stuff I've done. Just sit back and chill. I'm going to show you a dang good video, and I will be having a part two to this. So just make sure you subscribe. All right, here we go. Now, you, when you open it up, Power Director, for the first time, and uh, right here's the timeline mode. That's the one that you'll more than likely be using all the time. And see right up here, it says 16 by 9. Y y uh, that's probably what you're going to be using more than likely all the time. Uh, this setting right here is for a phone. Okay, I'm opening up the Power Director 16. Now, instead of, sh instead of me showing you four or five different ways to do everything, I'm going to just show you the simple, easy to way to do things. I'm going to uh, click that minimize. It don't, it don't, shrink, it don't like to shrink up. I'm going to put it like that. And here's my video right here. And I'm going to just take my video and drag it into that spot, whatever it is. <laughs> okay, then I'm going to click this. But man, what's easier than dragging and drop in there? Okay, to get started, going to drag this down into the, into the timeline and let it load up. And the first thing I want to show you is, is uh, see how... Right here where I ain't talking. And I got some empty spaces in between. And this right here is something I want you to know about. I'm going to put my mouse right here on the yellow. And this is something that don't you forget about this. Stretching this out because it helps you edit. Okay. The first thing I want to do is, like I say, remember to stretch your timeline out. And, uh... I'm going to split this right here. This is where I want to start. And here's my split right here. I'm going to split that. And I'm going to right click on this. And I'm going to click remove and fill gap. So that's going to slap back to the uh, beginning of the timeline. Now here is your play button. To start watching your video. Right, this is how to digitally. I had to cut that down. And uh, and this is also a uh, pause. Sometimes you might want to pause. Sometimes you might want to stop. Here's your stop button. Look right here. I'm gonna stretch this timeline out. Remember that. Okay, let's let's do it right here at this point. See right here where I went quite a few seconds. I'll turn it up some. See right here where I went quite a few seconds without saying anything. Okay. Now, I do that all the time. Okay. Remember what I said about stretching your timeline out. Okay, I'm going to put my, whatever the red line is, I'm going to put it just beyond that. And I'm going to split it. And I'm going to back it up some more. And I'm going to split that. You don't want to put it right dead on top of your audio. And by the way, let me show you this. To hold your mouse over here on the side. And when you see them arrows get double, it'll make this bigger where you can see it. And you also can do the, the, uh, the video like that too. But now here's my clip right here. Let me move this where you can see it. Here's my clip that I just, that I just split. Now I'm going to right click on it. Got to make sure it, see how it's turned blue. Right, I'm going to right click on it. And I'm going to click, if you, if you click leave gap, it'll do what it said. It'll leave a gap. If you click fill gap, it'll snap it together. And you haven't got to be fancy. I found out from making YouTube videos, people like simple. 
Okay, now you can you can move this around back to the front like like this if you want to, or you can do it here. I'd have got something else I'm gonna show you. See this right here, this T. I'm gonna click that. That stands for title, and uh, this is something you need to know. And th let me also show you this right here. You can uh, hook onto this. And move this up some so it shows more of your bar down here. But uh, anyway, I'm going to take my title. And let's just say I'm going to put it right here. Okay. Now, it comes to fault with this white writing right here on it. But uh, what I want to do. And there's another way you can put writing on there. But it seems like this right here is the simplest. You know, to, and, and looks the best. But uh, I'm going to double click that. All I'm doing is just double click. There's other ways you can do it, but I'm showing you the easy way. Okay, right here where it says character presets. Hey, they already got all this stuff right here. You just pick out the one you like. If you, if the one you pick out you don't like, you can pick it up now. I'll show you that. See there? Okay. Two ways you can do this right here. Okay. You can just start typing right here. Backspace this up. And put in what you want to put in right here. I'll put B-U-T. Put. <laughs> All right. <laughs> I like that. Okay. Then you can make this bigger. Or you can make it smaller. And you move your, your mouse. When you see that. That that makes you be able to move it around. Now now the full way cross whatever it is is moving it around. And then and then the double arrows is make it bigger or smaller. And also I do want to show you this. I wanna I do want to show you this over here. Up here is where you actually supposed to be typing at up here. And you can uh do that there. Hey, and just sit you you ain't got to worry about save as and all that. You just simply click OK. OK, now something that I ran into when I first started. I didn't have nobody show me. Right here. You know, say, so, so, well, well, how do I, that's not an X. How do I get rid of that? Go right up here to this. And this will go back to the beginning. How about that? And actually this right here will go down. And then, uh, and this, and by the way, since I'm right here, I'll show you. This right here is another way of texting. And you click this plus right here. And you double click this. And you can type right here, but it is, like I say, the other way is better. You, uh, type whatever you want to type in there. I'll just hit, do something fast here. And, uh, and then this right here is where you can, Move it up and down. I'll click apply to all. And then also you can. Also you can click text right here. And this is where you make it bigger or smaller. And and, and, and change your color and everything. You know you. you if, if you're doing this you already know about this. Alright. Okay I want to go back. I want to get out of this. So I'm going to click my arrow button and make this come down I'm gonna click that how about that I'm gonna show you something now say I want to input an image in there while I'm talking all right I'm gonna load my image up the same way I told you drag and drop I'm gonna go back and wherever you want this image put in here you just drag it down and It'll, it'll show when you put it below that. Let me just show you. It'll, uh, it'll override your video. And whenever I show you it overriding the video, remind me I need to show you something else. And right here, see this right here? This is to pull this down to where you can watch it in a bigger screen. And you can, do it like this or you can click this 
and it will go to absolute full screen. Okay. And then here's your play and play and all that. When you get done with that, just exit out and you right back to where you was. And this right here got me one time. Like I say, I didn't have nobody shopping, man. Okay, right up here at the right. How do you redock this, you know? Right here. This button right here. Click it, and it'll redock that. Okay, which reminds me. Alright, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go back to full screen. Watch this picture override the video. Alright, see that? See it override it? Alright, I'm gonna show you something else important about that. I'm gonna X out of there. And I'm gonna click on my picture. And see, you can grab this corner and make your picture whatever size you want to make it. And you know how I put them, uh, a little picture in the corner of the screen? This is how I'm doing it. And I'm making that little, but, uh, okay, something else I want, let me redock that. Something else I want to show you. You see the volume right here? It's this little white uh, line running across here. That's where you can turn it up or turn it down. And uh, see it yellow there? It's not for the yellow to be showing, but it's it's, be, it's it's like about perfect when when you yellow is just barely showing. And I'm I'm easing it on down, and and I'll pull it all the way just to show you. So you want it about like that. Okay, I'm gonna stretch my line, my timeline back out, and I'm gonna move this to the center where you can see it good. Now you can click on your image and see where it says duration. You can click duration, and you can make that appear for as long as you want to. This right here is the seconds, and just do that. Click OK. Or, like, whenever I make these YouTube videos, I'm actually, uh, do it, stretching mine all the way from one, almost from one end of the video to the other. And that means it'll play the whole, you know, every how long this is, is how long it'll play. And I'll show you this right here also. Let's just say, <clears throat> this, let's just say you want to trim up your pitch or some. You click on the picture, you know, highlight it, and then go right here to this weird shape, crop image. Okay, now it's set on 16 by 9, so it'll hold that 16 by 9. And But I use this right here more than not. Freeform. Click on Freeform, and then you can adjust this ever how you want to adjust it. How about that right there? That's all right, ain't it? Okay, just click OK. And there's something I got to tell you because yours ain't going to look like mine. Uh, yours is, is got the, uh, you know, the pictures and the video clips as samples and stuff. You, you might want to get rid of that because that's, that's not even gonna, what you're going to be working with. So let me show you how to do that. Click this wagon wheel icon. See right here where it says project. Click project. And this, this box right here, if you see in them clips, it'll be checked on yours. So you just want to uncheck it because I have never used that stuff that's in that, that's in that. And you can always, you can always come back and put it back in there if you want to. For y'all, it's only a minute ago. For me, it's the next day. And I've looked over the footage and I want to add, I want to add some stuff to some of the stuff I said. Now, when I showed you that that picture there, I was showing you actually a bad picture. I shouldn't have showed that. I'm going to put this down here on the timeline, and I'm going to crop it, and uh, I can give you a better a better idea about uh, cropping, you know. Okay, see how I'm doing that? Sometimes you might want to do that, 
And sometimes you might, might just want to like just, just cut some of the outside stuff out. But anyway, you kind of get the idea. I ain't going to keep on about that. And also, I need to show you this. Sometimes you, you, uh, your, your photo might not fit the screen good. And you can uh, just do this right here. It makes it a little bigger, but that's kind of just the way it is. It's the way it has to be. And I found out this was the media library. And I found out this was the timeline scrubber. How about that? This right here, a lot of this stuff you won't never use. This right here is the transition room. That's from like where you're going from one, you know, video to another. Try not to use that if you watch them on TV. You don't see them doing transitions very much. So just try to, just try to get it where you're going from one scene to another, and you'll figure it out. This right here is the voice recorder. You can click this. I ain't going to click it because, well, I might need to. I might need to. You know, this right here is where you set your mic volume. And this and this right here is record. And you click record, you talk, and then it, like if you need to pause, you, you uh, mash it and make it stop. This is mute while all tracks is recording. Now, it's pretty well <laughs> uh, self-explanatory just looking at it. Okay, I'm going to go back to my regular timeline. And I needed to recap about this. Sometimes, like, uh, see right here, here's that. This right here is the title. See that little GS? That's that title. Let me move this out of the way where you don't see nothing but this little title right here. And see, you can move this title. Are these this sentence to come in whenever you want it to come in? In the same way with your with your pictures, you can get it where they come in. You know, at the, at the exact time you want them to come in. In the same way I was talking about the duration on the picture, you can click this and do the duration on on this text too. You just hold. Hold your mouse over that, and then just type in the number of seconds. I think the default is five seconds. Five seconds is a long time. Okay, something very important I just thought of. Let's just say, let's just say that, uh, you split this right here, and you didn't mean to split it. So, oh, Lord, what have I done doing? Or, or you remove it. You know, you remove it. I, I'll do that. I'll remove it. Say, so, why well, I messed up bad? And see right here, this is undo. And I'll click that and see it put it right back. And I'll also undo that split. But how about that? And also, this is something very important, very important. Uh, you want to click File. The first time you do this, you want to click File and Save Project As. Click Save Project As. You see, I done already done saved my project. Uh, and the first time, you Save As. Okay, I'm going to click Cancel. And then... Every few minutes, every time you think about it, before you get too much done, you want to click uh, uh, Save Project. You just want to continuously click Save. So if your computer freezes up or messes up or goes off, whatever, you'll have a copy of this. And best thing to do is like when you like saving as. I'm going back to save as now. Save as to your desktop right here. And then you'll know exactly where it is. And right here where my mouse is on the yellow part, 
I see a double arrow, but you only see a pointed arrow. But, uh, and I noticed a, a few more things like, uh, on your pictures. Uh, well, see, even right here. Well, I see a double arrow right here where I'm like resizing this. And then, uh, I see, uh, crosshairs right here. And when you, when you're doing it, you'll see crosshairs. I don't know why it's not showing that. But anyway, when you see them crosshairs, that's from moving it around. When you see the double arrows, that's from doing this. If you're a beginner, you won't need this, but I'll show you this anyway. See, see this right here? You can click this, and then you'll add more more tracks. Down, uh, let me quick cancel that. It'll add more tracks down here. Because certain tracks is for different things. This this track right here is for music, and this is where your your voice over. You know, this is where if you was recording with your voice, this is where it would be. Here, I don't know how to fix. Okay, you can just take this right here and grab a hold to it. I'm holding my mouse key down and slide it back, and when it turns blue. It's when you see that line there, it turns blue. It's back together. Okay, y'all, I had done finished the video and I had to do this over. My sound just started messing up. And uh, I didn't put all that echo in there. I think this thing was double recording. But anyway, I come back in here to straighten it back out. Right here is the produce button. I'm going to click produce. And this right here is the setting I use. Meg 2 is probably the setting most people use. Uh, you can read down here about each one of them what it does. You want to make sure that this right here is on default. My mama's got messed up before and hers got off of default. And uh, here's the next thing right here. Now let me let me tell you about these settings right here. YouTube has certain formats that fits their player, and if you don't use the right one, it won't it won't fit their player. You can still put it on YouTube, but it'll look it'll look funny. And you know you've seen them you've seen some before probably that look funny. And and also you can't use your end screens. But uh, this right here, this 1280 by 720, 30 frames a second, that's, that's high definition. When you, when you make your video, it'll be high definition. It'll be high definition on YouTube. And uh, I don't know about all of them, I, even though I, I use some of the smaller ones sometimes for just for Facebook. But a lot of the, a lot of the uh, people on YouTube, They'll use this setting right here, uh, 1920 by 1080. And when it goes into YouTube, uh, they change your format. So it don't matter what quality you put in there, they're going to change it. Okay, so you can use either one of them. This right here takes a pretty long time to render. Okay, so I'm going to uh, put that on 1280 by 720. And uh, this down here, you don't have to worry about none of this. Uh, you come right here to this, and see this button right here? Click it. And uh, I want to save this to the desktop. If you don't save it to the desktop, it'll go into Documents and, and uh, Cyberlink. But I always won't mind to go into the desktop where I ain't hunting it everywhere. And right here, you, you name the name of, of whatever you want the video to be. Then you just simply click save. All right, everybody. That's it. I don't, I ain't sure if I said it. Mash the start button. I appreciate everybody watching. I'll make sure you subscribe. We'll see you on part two. Look into your heart, baby